Hello D Nation and welcome to the Diecast Motorcycle Week series. In today's episode we are going to be taking a look at my top 6 favorite 180 scale custom chopper motorcycle replicas and showcase them in this Diecast Bike Week episode. So stay tuned with me on this one and let's get this started. Well, I really love the bike week that takes place annually all over the world where biker communities gather together as one to showcase their beautiful rides and also to enjoy and appreciate these beautiful pieces of art on two wheels. So as a diecast motorcycle collector, I came up with the concept to kickstart a bike week series for my 180 scale diecast motorcycles where I will dedicate an episode to one motorcycle brand and feature my top 6 favorite motorcycle replicas for my collection. So today's bike week episode is dedicated to custom chopper motorcycles and all you custom motorcycle enthusiasts out there. So let's go ahead and take a look at today's custom diecast motorcycle lineup and get this diecast bike week episode started. And a quick disclaimer before we kick start. I am not sponsored by any of the brands featured in today's video and I'm doing this solely out of passion for my hobby and my love for motorcycles. And on the same note, none of today's featured motorcycles are ranked in any particular order based on looks or performance, but are my personal favorites for my collection for today's featured brand. But if you choose to, feel free to rank them and let me know what you think in the comments below and also let me know which one of these amazing diecast replicas are your favorite. To begin with, these choppers come with model numbers and no particular names. So I took the liberty to name these custom beauties. So let's begin today's diecast custom chopper motorcycle lineup with the purple prankster, which is the diecast replica manufactured by Motomax. A chopper is a type of custom motorcycle which emerged in California in the late 1950s. The chopper is perhaps the most extreme of all custom styles, often using radically modified steering angles and lengthened forks for a stretched out appearance. So let's go ahead and take a look at this amazing custom diecast beauty. Next up is the Rat Rod which is a diecast replica manufactured by Motomax. Most iconic choppers have lengthened or stretched frames and larger than stock front wheels. The sissy bar is a set of tubes that connect the rear fender with the frame and which are often extended several feet high which is a signature feature of many custom choppers. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this amazing custom Rat Rod diecast replica. What we're looking at now is the pink roller which is a diecast replica manufactured by Motomax. Choppers can be built from an original motorcycle which is modified or chopped or can also be built from scratch. Some of the characteristic features of choppers are long front ends with extended forks often coupled with an increased rake angle, hardtail frames which are frames without rear suspension, a very tall ape hanger or a very short drag handlebars are used as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at this custom chopper replica. Cruising in next is the Grim Reaper which is a diecast replica manufactured by Motomax. 
over time, the choppers have become more and more about achieving a certain look rather than being primary performance-oriented modifications. The modifications that had their origin in hot rodding evolved into an artistic and aesthetic direction. By the mid-1970s, stock Japanese and European performance motorcycles would outperform most bobbers and choppers. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this muscle-bound custom motorcycle replica. Up next is the Beige Badass which is a die-cast replica manufactured by Motomax. While all choppers are highly customized bikes, some choppers are even built from scratch using all custom parts and also note that not all customized bikes are choppers. In Europe, at roughly the same era that choppers were invented and popularized in the US, bikers modified their bikes which are primary English brands like Triumph, BSA, Norton and Matchless in a different way to achieve a different look, performance goals and riding positions. The resulting bikes are known as cafe racers and look very different from a chopper. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this badass custom diecast replica. And finally, we have Poison Ivy, which is a die-cast replica manufactured by Motomax. Over the decades since the first choppers were created, many different trends and fads have taken hold. So that it is often possible for someone to look at a chopper and say that it is a 1970s style or fits into a specific era or subtype. Some contemporary builders specialize in building choppers that very exactly fit into their styles, which are frequently referred to as old school style choppers. Now let's take a look at this toxic green custom diecast replica. Well, I couldn't help but throw in a die-cast motorcycle that I customized not too long ago which is called the Black Widow. The original is a 118 scale Triumph Rocket 3 die-cast replica manufactured by Burago. I chose this powerhouse of a motorcycle for this project as I wanted to add more muscle to it. So I went ahead and converted this massive displacement engine to a fully blowout engine and also did a bit of fabrication and bodywork. If you want to check out the detailed process of this mod, I did an exclusive episode on this diecast custom and I'll drop the link to it in the description below in case you want to check it out. So let's go ahead and check out this one of a kind custom diecast motorcycle mod and let me know what you think in the comments below. And with that out of the way, now let's place these diecast beauties on the D-Nation Dino and check out their wheel spin and their functionality. And in case you're interested, kindly find further features and specifications regarding these amazing custom chopper diecast motorcycle replicas in the description below. And stay tuned for some fun facts on custom choppers coming up.
Well, everything seems to be spot on and up to my expectations with these amazing and one of a kind custom chopper die cast motorcycle replicas. So, with that being said, let's place these die cast models on the Denation turntable and take a look at these beauties in a 360 degree view. And here are a few fun facts. A custom motorcycle is a motorcycle with stylistic or structural changes to the standard mass-produced machine offered by major manufacturers. Custom motorcycles might be unique or built in limited quantities. While individual motorcyclists have altered the appearances of their machines since the very first days of motorcycling, the first individualized motorcycle specially labeled custom appeared in the late 1950s around the same time as the term was applied to custom cars. In the 1960s, custom artisans like Arliness and Ben Hardy created new styles of custom bikes, the chopper. In the 1990s and early 2000s, very expensive customs such as those built by Orange County Choppers, Jesse James, West Coast Customs, Roger Goldhammer became fashionable status symbols. There are also companies that are bringing back pinstriping such as Kenny Howard also known as Von Dutch and Dean Jeffries from the 1950s with a continued effort to keep pinstriping alive. The chopper of the 1960s and the 1970s fit into this category. And for further information on custom motorcycles, kindly check the links in the description below. And also, please do continue to support Denation by subscribing to our channel if you haven't already and also by liking and sharing our videos. And in case you missed the previous episodes, kindly check out the 118 scale diecast motorcycle episodes and the diecast bike week episodes in the playlist below. And if you want to get yourself or your loved ones any one of these 118 scale custom chopper diecast motorcycle replicas, I dropped the best buy links in the description below. So go check it out and get yourself one if you're interested and also please do let me know in the comments below as to which one of these amazing diecast custom motorcycle replicas are your favorite. And this brings us to the end of this amazing custom chopper diecast motorcycle week episode. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a massive thumbs up and share it. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button if this is your first time here. And also click on that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming episodes. And if you care to share your views and thoughts on this episode, please do drop your comments below and stay tuned for all new episodes coming up. Well, thank you for watching, take care and I'll see you on the next one.